Welcome back to Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. This is game seven, and it's getting pretty nasty. We're pretty close to taking out Barty, but we can't get health back. We can't draw cards. Every time we play allies, we get damage. Not good. Starting off with Harry. We're going to do three turns Harry, three Ron for this episode. Let's begin. Dark Arts card for Harry is... Uh, Relagio. All heroes choose one. Discard an item or lose two health. Oh. Discard an item or lose two health. Well, Harry's got his Hogwarts of History, which I don't think he wants to lose. Or he has his cloak, so he only takes one health damage. He only has two health left, though. So he might want to discard this. How many influence? One, two, three. He only has four influence. He can't get anything but the Chocolate Frog no matter what he does. So you know what, he is going to discard his invisibility cloak uh, because then he'll take no damage. So that's what Harry's gonna do. Let's take a look at Ron. Ron has his every flavor beans, doing a lot good, his clean sweep. Um, he has enough to take out Barty this time. So I think he is just gonna go ahead and lose two health. He's gonna go from seven health down to five. Uh, and then over we go to Harry, and I have to think about this. We'll be right back. All right, let's continue on with Harry. Well, he basically has three influence from uh, that one, two, three. And uh, I was going to choose any one of the house dice to roll. Could try and get rid of the diary, which will help out Ron. So I think he's got three influence here. I think he's going to roll uh, the Gryffindor die. Uh, is that what he wants to do? Um, no, he wants actually, let's go ahead and roll Slytherin. Let's try and get an attack for both Harry and Ron. And we get a life back, which is absolutely useless uh, because Fenrir is out. So we cannot uh, get health back. So that was a failure. Uh, of the die roll for Hogwarts a history. Well, not a very good turn for Harry. And of course I forgot, we can't remove uh, influence and location, can't get health back, can't draw cards. If we play an ally, we take a damage. So none of that was taking place. Harry's gonna spend two influence, which is pretty sad. And he's gonna get the chocolate frog. All right, he has one influence left. He can't use it. He discards all of his cards. I'm gonna drop five cards for his next hand. One, two, three, four, five. And over we are going to go now to Ron and see what he can do. All right, over we go to Ron. Yep, dark influence card first. And it is uh, not looking good. All heroes reveal the top card of their deck. Heroes that reveal a card with a value of one or more, discard it and lose two health. Oh, what does Harry have? Harry has a basic card so he doesn't have to discard it he doesn't have to lose two health ron has a basic card all right so um bellatrix there didn't give us any pain so that's good and we don't even have to draw an extra card all right can't remove dark influence from location cannot heal cannot draw extra cards if we play an ally we lose health what does ron have in his hand well, he's got a lot of pretty good stuff, actually. Uh, he's got uh, Repero, choose one. Gain two influence or draw a card. Well, we can't draw cards because of the Basilisk, so he'll gain two influence for that. Uh, and of course, I didn't replace this card, so let's find out what it is. It's a Repero, choose one, gain two influence or draw a card. All right, forgot to do that. Um, and then a little more, uh, I'm saying probably incorrectly, gives him one influence. Pretty Bot's Beans gives him an influence. This is all good. I think he can get Tonks. Then he's going to gain an attack. If you defeat a villain, also gain one influence. And I think he's going to be able to do that. So he gets an attack. I put the influence on his card down here because I'm pretty sure he's going to get it. Then he gets Luna. Love. Good. An influence. If you play an item, also gain an attack. He played a couple of items, so he will get the attack for that. Uh, then you're going to roll the Ravenclaw die. Okay, so he has... Oh no, he only has two attack. 
But he's just, okay, so hang on, i got to get it organized. So he's playing an ally, so he gets an attack. Can't forget that. He played an ally, he's going to lose a health from Horcrux. He's going to go from 5 health down to 4. Uh, that's everything covered. He is now going to roll the Ravenclaw die. Uh, and he gets to re-roll because of Arithmancy. So let's see what he gets. He gets an Influence. You know what? He's going to keep that. He's going to keep that because that will give him an influence. Does he want to do that? Or re-roll it? Um, you know, no, he's going to re-roll it. We don't, he has enough influence. I don't think he's going to bother. He's going to re-roll it. Try and get, oh yes, he gets the card symbol, which he will use then to defeat the Horcrux, because that's what it takes to get rid of Tom Riddle's diary. Uh, yeah, it's going to get complicated. I may make some screw-ups. All right. Um, I don't know if this is immediately... I think it's defeated at the end. I think it gets defeated right now. So it's defeated right now because it only took one of the symbols to defeat. Uh, and If you play two or more allies, any one hero gains two health. Well, he only played one ally. He can't gain health anyway. Oh man, the next Horcrux comes into action. Whenever a hero assigns two or more damage to a villain, the hero loses two health. What? Oh, come on. Uh, and I do believe that's going to be taken effect. Oh man, whenever a hero assigns two or more damage to a villain. Well, he could assign one to each, but then we wouldn't get rid of Barty Crouch. But maybe that's what we want to do, because we don't want Ron to lose two extra health. Hmm... I think we are going to do that. We're going to put one on Barty, one on there, and one on the Basilisk. So he didn't assign two or more. He's not going to lose two health. Okay, and he is not going to defeat a villain, so he won't get this extra influence. But he does have one, two, three, four. He has five influence, and with his five influence, he will buy or purchase Tonks, because Tonks is... Awesome. So he's going to purchase Tonks for five. If I have made any errors, I'll leave comments and notes. I don't think he did. I think we covered everything off. Got to replace, of course, the Hogwarts card with Molly Weasley. All heroes gain an influence and two health. Okay, so Molly and Arthur Weasley are both out now. And that is going to conclude uh, Ron's turn. If you assign three or more attack on your turn all heroes gain two health while well, it triggered but Fenrir says sorry nobody can gain health so that sucks uh, the end of Ron's turn one two three four five cards for his next turn yeah and over we go back to Harry oh man this is getting ugly all right um yeah, let's see what Harry's Dark Arts card is. Oh, ah! I think that just knocked him out. Active hero chooses uh, oh chooses another hero to lose two health. Well, uh, Harry's going to choose Ron. Ron's going to go down to two health. And we have to draw another card. Oh, I hate that card a lot. And now we have Hand of Glory. Active hero loses a health. Add one Dark Influence to the location. Wow, so Dark Influence on the location. We're up to two Harry loses a health, goes from two health down to one. Can't remove dark influence from the location. Cannot gain health. Cannot draw extra cards. Whenever you assign two or more attack to a villain, that hero loses two health. Damn. That is nasty. Um, and, okay. So away we go to Harry. What does Harry have? Harry has Hedwig, Firebolt, Confundus, more high so he has enough to take out Barty. let's uh first do his easy spell he can discard these but nobody can draw cards but we can get influence no he's going to get two influence for that um and then he is going to play hedwig for one attack which doesn't give him any penalties now because that tom riddle's diary is gone I do believe, yep. Firebolt, gain one attack. Uh, gain one attack. Oh man, 
The funness gain an attack. If you assign at least one attack to each villain, also remove a dark influence from the location. Can't do it, because Barty says you can't remove a dark influence from a location. <laughs> oh, damn it. So, the grand total of not a great hand says he has two influence uh, and three attack total. He is just going to assign one attack to each because he doesn't want to get stunned. That would stun him. Uh, that leaves him with two influence, which means he can't do anything because uh, three influence for this. Now, Harry can wipe the board, reset it with five new cards, and you know what? I think think he's going to do that. So instead of doing any purchasing, he's going to do the uh, mulligan kind of ability for himself. He is going to discard the five cards, or six cards. We're going to draw six new cards. So we get um, Azor, costing four. Crystal Ball, we have Peril, come on, where are the allies? There we go. Um, from we have Tigo, Tego, and we have Snape, which is good for Ron. Okay, oh man, Harry down to one health, Ron at two, and I think that's the end of the turn. Nobody's been knocked out. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Harry will draw five cards. I'll have to reshuffle off screen. Up next, Ron. All right, over we go to Ron. And Dark Arts card for Ron is uh, Hand of Glory. Active hero loses a health and add a dark influence to the location. <laughs> oh man, Ron down to one health. Harry at one. Still kicking though. Can't remove dark influence from location. Cannot heal. Can't draw extra cards. Whenever a hero assigns two or more attack to a villain, that uh, the hero loses two health. So let's keep that also in mind. If you play two or more allies, any one hero gains two health. Can't gain health because of Fenrir. Okay. What does... What does Ron have? Well, he has one, two, three, four influence. Which... Two... Okay, four influence. Not quite enough to get Snape. Uh, Pigwidgeon, choose one, gain an attack or two health. Can't get health back, he'll choose the one attack, which is awesome, I think. With his one attack, he... Well, first let's do his four influence. Um, any hero gains three health, draw a card. He will spend his four influence to get the bizarre card. Any one hero gains three health and draws a card. Of course we can't gain health or draw cards yet, but we will be knocking them out eventually. Uh, then we're going to replace the card with stupefy, gain an attack, remove a dark information, draw a card. Excellent stuff. We're going to apply the one attack to Barty. Seven damage. Barty is defeated. So he's our first villain to get the smack down from Harry and Ron, who are both sitting at one health. Um, remove two dark influence from the location by defeating him. So that is good. We're going to take the two dark influence that were on the location and we're going to remove them. All good. That will be the end of Ron's turn. I'll have to shuffle for him to draw up. Both at one health. This is very bad. Uh, yeah. So we're at the end of the turn. We're going to reveal the next villain. The next villain we get is, oh man, Active Hero reveals the top card of his or her deck. If the value is one or more, discard it and add a dark influence to the location. Okay, actually a pretty good time for him to show up. Um, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get knocked out here. We only have one health Harry, one health Ron. Yeah. All right, let's uh, go back to Harry. We're going to have one more Harry turn, one more Ron turn. It'll be the end of our episode. All right, back we go to Harry. Dark Arts card. Mosmadre. Oh. oh, man. All heroes lose a health. And that's going to knock out both Harry and Ron. Add a dark influence to the location. Well, wow. So we get a dark influence on the location. We're going to knock out Harry. And we're going to knock out Ron. Damn it. All right, Harry is stunned. Uh, let's take a look at the stunned rules once again. Stun, discard all tokens and half the cards in your hand. Well, half rounded down. So he's got five cards in his hand. He's going to discard two of them. He will discard... Oh 
man, I think he's going to discard the Firebolt and the Lomora, so that at least gives him three influence to get something. Uh, so he's going to discard half of his cards, okay, and then add a Dark Influence to the location. Uh, that's going to be two, and now Ron's going to do the same thing. He is also going to be stunned, um, and he's going to have to discard half his cards, eh? Well, he is going to discard two of his basic spells, keeping Tonks and uh, Lovegood. Okay, and yeah, another Dark Influence to the location. At the end of Harry's turn now, he will go back to 10 health. And so will Ron, the end of Harry's turn. All right, uh, so I'm just going to put it on 10 for uh, Harry right now. I'm going to put them both on 10 so I don't forget. Keeping in mind they can't lose any more health, they can't gain any more health or anything at the moment. Okay, that was nasty. Uh, they both got stunned, but now it's Harry's turn. Um, so he's basically at no health, so he can't gain or lose health anymore. All right, we are going to look at the top card of the here of their deck. If it is um, one or more, you discard it. Add a dark influence to the location. Damn it, it's four. So he's Harry's going to have to discard that, and we're going to add another dark influence to the location. That's four. Holy man! Ouch. Okay. Uh, yeah. And wow, that sucked. Uh, over to Ron. Let's hope Ron doesn't have the same thing. Uh, no, it's his basic card, so we're not going to be adding another influence to the location. Ooh, we're ending off pretty nastily. All right, Harry's turn. Uh, whenever we assign two or more attack, well, that's not going to happen. Can't gain health. Uh, well, we can't anyway. We're both stunned, and we can't draw extra cards. All Harry has in his hand now is three influence. One, two, three. And with his three influence, uh, he is going to choose one, gain two. I'm going to leave this one for Ron, I think. He is going to go ahead and get the crystal ball. The crystal ball says, draw two cards, and then discard any one card. Yeah, draw two cards. Can't do with the basilisk out, but... Uh, Maybe he'll, well, he'll get it anyway. We might have the Basilisk defeated before then. Uh, and that, so that cost him his three influence. Trying to keep everything straight here. That's the end of Harry's turn. So he would go back to 10 health. Ron goes back to 10 health. We're going to replace the Hogwarts card with Spectre Patronum. Gain an attack, remove a dark influence from the location, costing five. We want to have remove dark influence from the location as quickly as possible. Wow. Nasty. All right, one, two, three, four, five cards for Harry's next turn, which will be next episode. Over we go to end off this episode with Ron. So, yeah, let's get to it. All right, Ron's turn. Yeah, we start off with these rotten cards. Oh, this looks great, doesn't it? Aerosol and roll the Slytherin die. All right, we're going to roll the Slytherin die, and we're going to see what it is we get and we get the card draw card symbol what does that mean well what it means oh come on all heroes discard a card wow phantasmal all right harry potter does he have the chocolate frog oh yes he does he has the chocolate frog all right so harry's going to discard his chocolate frog uh, if you discard this, gain an influence and a health. Can't get health back, but he can get the one influence. So where am I going to put that? I'm going to put it on top of his draw deck so I don't forget it for next episode. We're over to Ron as well to discard a card. He's just going to get... Wow, he's just getting hosed. He's going to discard this one uh, and keep his two allies. And that is the beating we took from the Dark Arts card. Uh, active Hero, oh, it was Active Hero. Okay, when we did that for Harry. I keep forgetting this, I'm doing it for both. It should just be for the Active Hero. So now Ron is gonna look at his card. And it's his basic card, which we knew because we looked at it already. So we would not look at Harry's card. All right, kind of played him slightly wrong on Harry's turn, but it worked out okay anyway. Can't gain health, can't draw extra cards. Ron's turn. Ron has two cards, but they're both good ones. Um, gain an influence. 
for playing Luna. Uh, and if you play an item, well, he didn't. He gets to roll the Ravenclaw die. All right. Can roll the Ravenclaw die. Of course, that'll apply to both. Let's hope it's not draw a card or get health because we can't do either. Uh, he gets to re-roll it. So he gets an attack. And you know what? He's got to keep that because that's really the only sort of useful thing he has. So Harry's going to get one attack. Ron's going to get one attack. Okay. That was rolling the Ravenclaw die. And he has one more card to play. It's Tonk. Choose one. Gain three influence or gain two attack or remove a dark influence from the location. Well, gee, let's go ahead and remove one dark influence from the location because nothing prevents us from doing that, which then triggers Harry Potter's ability. The first time dark influence is removed from the location each turn, up to two heroes gain an attack. So basically, Ron is gonna get one attack. Harry's gonna get another attack. That's it. So Ron is sitting here with one influence, which is completely useless, two attack. But if you assign two attack, you're going to take two damage. Uh, we can't get health back. He's going to assign one on the Basilisk, one on Fenrir. Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's the end of Ron's turn. He's going to draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five for his next turn, which will be in the next episode. And that's going to conclude our episode for today. So when we come back next time, Harry's already starting off with two attack and one influence before he plays any cards. They're both at 10 health. We have three dark influence on the location. Can't gain health and can't draw cards because of these two guys. We're going to see if we're going to whack them out as soon as we can. Uh, yeah, it's going to be going to be tough. These Horcruxes are nasty. Whenever you assign two or more attack to a villain, to a villain, that hero loses health. Uh, two more attack. I wonder if that's to a single villain or just, yeah, it says to a villain. I'm saying it's one villain because uh, that's how I'm reading that. It doesn't say assigns two or more attack to villains. Uh, so there we go. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. Really appreciate it. Join me next time for the continuation of Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. Game 7. This is it. This is the finale. It's the end of the series. The last game in the box. Uh, and it's a tough one. So thanks so much for watching along. And we'll see you in the continuing series here. Game 7. Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. So thanks so much. We'll see you then.